If you read Matthew 24, I was reading Matthew 24, I felt this is the time that we must strengthen our Christianity. Let me read from 3. While Jesus was seated on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately and said, Tell us, when will this destruction of the temple take place? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered, Be careful that no one misleads you Amen. In other words, deceiving you or leading you into error. For many will come in my name, misusing it and appropriating the strength of the name which belongs to me. That's what Jesus was saying. Amen. Say, I am the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed, and they will mislead many. Amen. And you will continually hear of wars and rumors of war, See that you are not frightened, for those things must take place. But that is not yet the end. For nation will rise against nation. Amen. And kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places like South Africa. But all these things are merely the beginning of birth pangs. Amen. They will, then they will hand you over to endure tribulation and it will put you to death and you'll be hated by all nations because of my name. At that time, many will be offended and repelled by, by the association with me and will fall away and will betray one another and, then, and will hate one another. Eleven, many false prophets will appear and mislead many. And because lawlessness is increased, the love of most people will grow cold. Amen. Let's pray. For, thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. When I read this, I, I felt away. we are in that state that <laughs> it has been prophesied that very soon <laughs> the Lord is coming. Very soon. But you know, there have to be all these signs. There have to be the signs we are reading of his coming. But always, we must check if we are still operating in love. Just right. Right, stay in love. Just stay in love. That is our message today. You know, if you can read there, you will see that the Bible says the love of many will grow cold. And then what will make the love of many to grow cold? One, tribulation will come and people will be hated. Death also will come to some Christians. That will offend many. In other words, this is a tribulation time. Number two, look at the issue of, you know, Christians betraying one another. That's the second thing. And it's happening. Christians are betraying one another. Many false prophets uh, will mislead many. If you can read there, you see that you said they will mislead because the name Jesus they will use it in a wrong way. For themselves or for just to deceive. Number four, you can see that uh, the Bible shows that because sin will be abound. There will be lawlessness that will increase, and this will really affect even Christians. You just hear that, uh, no, 
ame pasta utano kwa motar na ki moroti makananisa ke makananisa i don't love you nis now i ke o sarata you nis na jwa che i want to divorce you nis and marry another one ke nyoko thala o ke nyoko yonya la ke ya pele o thoka molao when people that you trust you will be surprised but ba ba botileng o ba tshepileng o tho ma ka di ntotse ba di dia ho and you'll be surprised uh, where is now the gospel ka lo re jwa no mo di alang ba nna e va gedi la ifele chikai will bring insults ntwe di to dia maruwa o re be gona the church monto ngia mo di and people will look at the church in another way so to live christianity in the last days it won't be easy that's what the bible says those who endure ba ta khotelelang to the end o fetella mafelo shall be saved ba ta pholoswa hallelujah amen so you can see We have to check our love walk with Christ. Stay in love. Tell it again. Stay in love. If you stay in love, you will understand that the devil will raise people around you so that you lose what you have been given. Not long I was I was I was finding that uh, the way we are taking Christianity in South Africa is not not the way we take it in another country Sometimes our Christianity here is becoming more like of materials Na go tshedengwe pholoso tsa rena kwa di lebele tshe go gola ya gana makudu And sometimes God allows famine Na go tshedengwe modimo mo dumela o dia o renare ter pulso dia o pulso era night e já não mod le fasing le o nang le tala e teaching a ona nto ba ka di ankanta o ikona di jo ba tsho la pele que mo mo dimo a ta dulang ena ga ya ba etela so god want us to follow him já não mo dimo nya ka rena re mo xala morao whether those things that we need are there dilo tshere di thokang di ona o ba di go whether this family oba ona le tala oba ona le ditaisho oba ona le tsokolo there must not be any situation that draws us to go oska ba le di ya mo tsene ke ditang gore sa go le le modimo a o be yena let it be jesus a be jesus who draw you to him ya re go gelang mo go yena because can you see le gona bona taba she the love of many will grow cold le rata la bani ba ntshi le tona tlega so this is the time that we focus on our love and stay in our love do le kara le rata le we different with them because the bible says our bible ya papa ire we will know each other by the fruit if you read first john are ya bokeng ya johana wa mathomo chapter 4 verse 8 chapter 4 verse 8 The Bible says he who does not love Bible ya sarating has not become acquainted with God. Aso tsamaisane le modimo. In other words does not know God. Ka mantsho bangwa tsebi modimo or has never known God. Ka bana le ha tsebi mahana le rato la modimo. Because God is love. Ka bana modimo ke le rato. And he is the originator. Ena gape ke ena le thumileng le rato la gona. The truth that makes God. Ke di ntotse di rang gore modimo is love. A be le rato. Hallelujah. Amen. So you can check yourself. Tsona wena o ka te thola. How can you hate someone? Ore wena o ka gona jwa ngo tlo ya motho. How can you walk with a hate? O ka gona jwa ngo sepela ka motho yo o na le pelo ya o se levalele. And you call yourself a Christian. Wa ipitsore ke pholosi tshe ina. I believe this is the time now. Like it me lori yake na go ba ina. If there are things which are wrong we fix them. Now. Those are the, not the things we can talk about. Ona le dintho tshele ka bolelang ka tshona. There are some things that we can just criticize each other. Tshele ka no ye fulana re le mmogana. A lie of someone. This is the time that the Bible shows that if I don't love you. Anna ke sa le rate lena. I'm not acquainted with God. This is the time that we have a church when you see another person you call him your sister you call him your brother and we become one family I don't know if you are hearing me this is the time of looking at yourself than looking at others make sure you stay in love tell somebody say my friend in my house I will stay in love in my community I'll stay in love because I'm acquainted with God there is no way you can 
way you talk about God if you don't love. There's no way you can talk about having faith when you don't love. I don't know if you're hearing that. If you believe, say amen. Look at this verse we know in 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14. 16, 14. Let everything you do, verse 14, do it in love. Do it in love. Be inspired by the love of God. Everything you do, when, when you greet, in love. When you eat, in love. You know, there, there are times you must eat because somebody gave you food. Because you're hungry. There are times where you must break your fasting. Because you are, you are eating love. If you visit someone and the person give you food, check the reason why he's giving you. So if you don't eat, you might be showing that you don't love that person. So you, you must eat in love. So you, you break fasting in love. You know? Because if you knew that you want to walk in love, you were supposed to be saying, I don't want to visit anybody because if I visit, they will offer me Food. And, and if I offer food, food if I deny their food, it means I'm not being insulted. So therefore, your actions of doing things must be coming from love. Tell your neighbor, your actions of doing anything must be inspired from love. Let's go to Psalm 119, verse 113. Is there anybody you feel you can't forgive. Because that person is the one that is blocking your miracle. If you are failing to so love that person, you find that that one is a stumbling block to your calling, to your destiny, to what you are supposed to do. I don't know if you are hearing that. Ask your neighbor and say, do you have anybody you feel you can love? If that person is there, God can send you someone. That person is a limitation for you. If you read 1 Corinthians 13 verse 1, it shows that from verse 1 to 6, it doesn't want us to take any account which is wrong. Any account. If you take any account in a wrong way. You are working out of love. That's what the Bible says. That's why Bible Even your assignment is wrong. If you prophesy, you are not in love. Even that prophecy is wrong. Because you take any account in a wrong way. You see, taking account in a wrong way is it's also judging other people. Fighting somebody. I mean, having your own judgmental in a way that will favor you and hurt other people. You must have love before you. Tell me have love before you act. Act in love. Walk in love. Speak in love. Think in love. And what you will do, you will execute what God wants you to execute. You see, I can give you an example. I was checking what will limit us in charity. I found that is when we are challenged in our love. Challenged in our love. Sometimes people hate us with reason. And these people later they will say, sorry. Because they are challenged in our love. You realize that it's not them. It's your challenge of greatness. The more people hate you, fight you, when you respond by loving them, you have climbed to another level. If you read First 
Peter 4 verse 8. It says, above all, have a fervent and unfailing love for one another because love covers a multitude of sin. Above all, there is love. Once you reach there, you can't sin. Once you reach there, you can't cause anybody to sin. I don't know if you're hearing that. You know, there was a time where I found that what will take many of us to hell, especially in pastors, is lack of love. Walking in love, you are walking above everything. You can't sin when you walk in love. Because you can't fight anybody. You can't curse anybody. You can't shame anybody. You can't sin against anybody. I don't know if you are hearing me. Ask somebody to say, my friend, is there anybody you feel you can't forgive? Is there anybody you feel you can forgive? You see, if you confess when we pray, you will start to have peace in your heart. Because that person will be a stumbling block to what God wants to do in your life. Why do you have people who have to come from nowhere and hurt you. So that you'll be limited. Because limitation in love is to walk under love. That is above all, which is love. If you walk in love, you are walking above everything. I don't know if you are hearing me. There's a fervent love. Love that is in you. Not where you are supposed to be begged to love. No, you feel it. You just feel it. Just say, my friend, if you have love with the people of God, you are one with them. When you are one with them, you are one with Christ. When you are one with Christ, you are one with, Christ, are one with God. And there is nothing that God will do to you, you and he won't inform you from uh, other so people because whatever he's doing for you he's not doing for you alone because in love, you love you have many people the reason why you are just getting a small job is because your love is small even your responsibility is small listen your love shows your responsibility write it down your love give birth to your responsibility. If you want to see yourself having bigger responsibility, love everyone. Check what God will do when you love everybody. I don't know if you are hearing me. I was seeing this that when God wants to bless some people, He will check their love. He will just check your love. Let me give an example by Ananias. Ananias Ananias. There's a man on the street called Straight. I want you to go there. He's praying. When you go there, pray for him and release him. Ananias said, hey, 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 I can't go there. He didn't say, I, I hate this man. He said, what I hate. Already there were people who were hating him. But this man said, hey, what I hate. God could not go to Jerusalem, they were running away afraid of him, of Saul, but there was only one who heard. He said, I heard about this. I don't know if this is true or what, but this man is a very bad man. And God said, hey, I know your love. I'm sending you there to release that one. Your assignment, I determined by the strength of the love you have. If you want to reach far, check if you love far. Your love must go beyond. You must love your community, love your friends, love everybody. And God will make you instruments 
not, you will stay where you are. are. This is the time of practice beyond your borders. You must reach a level where when you look at yourself, there is nobody who can block your love. Nobody. Listen, you must know that there are some people that the devil is using that will come unto your life used against your love. They will inform you bad things. They will speak with you bad things. Tell yourself, hey, hey, hey. hey, hey, hey. I don't want to talk about what I cannot see. Because I walk by faith. I walk by what? By faith. I don't want to talk about things that, that I'm just hearing. If you saw them, allow me to see them. I don't know if you hear me. Don't tell me things that you say you saw. Don't tell me things that you say you heard. Wait for me to hear it. We need Christians who are saying, I want to operate in love. Once you have love, like myself, if I have love, I can minister to everybody. I don't know if you are hearing me. If I have love, I can reach everybody. Can you see why we are so limited? Our blessings are of our families. Why? Because Why? we are limited to our families. Even the money that will come, it suits your pocket. Why? Because you think about yourself and your family. But when you think about other people, God will make your finances to break your barriers. Let me prophesy someone as a to me. Today, you are breaking your barriers. I say you are breaking your career by walking in love. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can you ask your neighbor, say, my friend, do you love someone? You know why uh, I heard the issue of why God wants to raise many people in charis? They are not stay in charis because they saw money. They stay in charis because they love charis. Even if you tell them, others are not even working, but they are here. And the day when God raised them, you say, ha, what happened? It's because of love. Love brings what you are crying for. I'm speaking with someone who's listening to me right now. I say, wherever you are, receive what you are here for. I say, receive what you are here for. This is the time where you make sure that you stay in love. Tell the neighbor, say, hey, stay in love. People will remove you, but stay. People will push you out, but stay. Listen, don't find anything about Anybody, I want to give you a way out for that. The moment when you see something that you don't love on someone you love, know that you are a source of help. The moment you just see something, don't, don't use it to pull that person down. Walk in love. I mean, stay in love. Be a source of a help to that person. See how far God will bless you. God will bless you to the that you will enjoy everything. Listen, without love, there is gossip. Without love, there is quarrel. Without love, there is argument. Without love, there is fight. All these things are there to say there is no love. Rise up and do something about it. They are not there to separate. They are not there to bring division. It's a challenge for you. You can be a challenge of love and bring solution when there is a problem. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen, we need to when we reach to heaven, if you are taken to heaven, they must not find anything 
in you. They must not find that you, are, you have got something grudges like with that one. They must not find that you have been talking about someone. Gone are the days of talking about someone. You must, you must wake up and talk about about yourself. You must wake up and fix yourself. There's nobody who's perfect. If Satan is using them to tempt you, it's the right time for you to show love because love will nullify temptations. I don't know if you're hearing me. There are some people who are listening to me. If you want to see that God wants to bless you, just love. I say just love and stay in love. I don't know if you are hearing me. I know some people who are here. If you go to them and say, Woman mom is bad. You know what they will say? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know where I come from. Sorry. I don't want to hear things like that. I know where I come from. Such Christians, they are unstoppable. Such Christians are unstoppable. We need to reach a level where before you answer someone, you check if you are hating or you are responding in the right way. It's where God can take you forward. Look what happened. I'm just giving you an example by the service of the Lord. A man who ascended to go and preach in Nineveh. Look at the hatred about the things of the past. Look what he went through. He was forced by the nature to be taken to the call. He is supposed to, to possess. He was even ready to die because of not loving. There are some people who are ready even to die. Whatever that has happened to you, it has happened because God wants your life to be above. Your love to be above. Once your love is grown up, God will give you responsibility. Look at what happened to this man. When he said, throw me inside the sea, I can rather die there than to face the people who hurt our nation before. He was still having the past. And the past was hunting. Some of you are hunted by your past. To extend that you limit yourself, there was no way that God could send that man unless he involved himself again. Even today, God is involving himself again to take you to where you belong. He can send you where you hate. He can make you to reach people. Those who do not want you. But when you love them, they will love you. They will change their perspective. 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 God wants to use you and bless you. This year, make sure that there is nobody in your heart. You love all, but you trust Jesus. I prophesy you, when you are here, the love of God will be abound from now. And the grace of God will follow you. What you are crying for, you will receive it in the name of Jesus. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Tell the neighbor, say, my friend, I feel the love of God in my life. I forgive those who cause me pain. I'm praying a prayer of Jabez. I don't want to cause pain in anybody. And I want my territory to expand your territory will expand from now. If you believe, shout hallelujah. If you read Luke 6, 32, Jesus was saying, if you love those who love you, even what credit is that to you? Because sinner love those who love them. 
In other words, is to operate beyond love. A love of Pharisees. There's a credit. Tell them about there's a credit in love. In Matthew 5, verse 46, Matthew 5, 46, it says, What reward do you have? When you don't love, it means there's reward. There is credit. There is reward. Hallelujah. Amen. And it says, even tax collectors, they do the same. Listen to this. It's only when we don't work in love that we are not different with the worst sinners. Even the tax collectors, we must love. People are hating us, speaking about this, that we must love. There are some people that are, are here who are hearing this message for the second time. And then always God has been speaking with them about forgiving. This is the time now of taking your portion and forgive. Sometimes there are signs in our houses, in our families, in our lives that makes us not to forget what has happened. Sometimes you find there are children that we are having before marriage. Sometimes are the scars on our faces and on our back. Sometimes it's things that we cannot tell anybody. Let's laugh and see what will happen. Let's read this last scripture. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 2. By this is John was speaking. We know without any doubt that we love children of God and therefore we obey and love God. By this we will be known that we are children of God. If we love God and we love his children and obey his commandments. Loving his children is obey his commandments. By these people will know we love God. In other words, we have been given an assignment of proving that we love God. Or we obey his commandments by loving other people. By this, when we love the children of God, or we love everybody, it's a sign that we love God and we obey his commandments. Because Commandments takes us to a place where there will be spectators. And people will look at us and check if truly we love God. We love God by loving everybody and obey His commandments. If I love you, I'm obeying God's commandments. It means I love God. How can I say I love you? I love God whereas I fail to love him. That's what the scripture says. How can I say I love God whereas I fail to love you? How can I say I love God that I cannot see? Whereas I'm failing to love you that I can see. This week, there will be many temptations of checking if you are staying love. Because it's a week of a breakthrough to cherish people. So, when you stay in love, you are maintaining your blessing. You are receiving what you are here for. You are taking over what you are here for. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Even when somebody wants to cause you pain, forgive very fast and stay in love. The moment when you stay in love, you will see God Almighty is watching. That miracle is coming to you in the name of Jesus. Listen, he who fights you if you love that person, that person will never be better than you. The sign of making you better than the one who's fighting you, you defeat that person by love. Can I tell you this? If you want to see you are close to a breakthrough, your love must be challenged by the people you love. When you see something like that, rejoice. You will see the miracle you have never seen. Can I tell you this? Can I tell you this? If God wants to do something in Charis, I know. The first thing, people will provoke us. People that you think you love, they will provoke you. Not long I was telling someone, I said, ah. You see, the provokers, they must come so that we leave them behind, we go ahead. When you see people try to fight you, How do this, this, whatever, they are, they are promoting you. They are just lifting you. If you are, when you are working, you will see that you are not needed. Sometimes they gossip you before you come there. Don't worry about it. The moment you see something like that, you just know, oh, this one is my stepping stone. This one is my level. Don't even say, what are you talking about? No, no, no. Just laugh. Rejoice in the Lord. See what the Lord will do. I don't know if you are hearing me. Ask someone say, hey, what are you facing? What you are facing is very good for you to take you to a higher level. That rejection, that shame, that difficulties, God wants to change it to a higher level.